I'm frequently asked if a geometric tolerance is legal or illegal. The first thing I do is look at the title block and notes to see if a revision of the ASM EY145 standard, a corporate standard, or some of the many ISO standards have been referenced. If not, I have to say that I do not know if the GD&T is according to the standard. Applying a standard in the USA is voluntary. Each company must decide what standards, if any, they want to follow. If the drawing references a standard, the rules of that standard apply. If no standard is referenced, there are no rules, and the drawing may be interpreted in several different ways. Here's an example of how to state the standard that the drawing is made to. Down here in the notes, it says that dimensioning and tolerancing is in accordance with ASME Y145-2009. So all of the rules that are found in this Y145 standard apply to this drawing. Notice it says in accordance with. I like that a lot better than based on, which I see on many drawings. You know, if I watch a movie based on the life of somebody, I know there's a lot of fiction in there. So saying you're in accordance with just seems to be a little cleaner. If you want your drawings to have one clear meaning, make certain that it's clear what rules apply. There are no GD&T police that will arrest you for applying an illegal callout, but there are rules that may be contractually binding when a standard is referenced. Here at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next month.